Growing up, music has always been a constant of mine, uh, whether I knew it or not. And at that time, my parents going through a separation, uh, all that was going on, and I found a release, I found a focus on something else other than what was bo bothering me or bogging me down through music and through playing guitar. Um, and with that, God showed me um, just a way to focus on Him and focus on other things through worship. My name is Andrew Parrish, and I'm a worship leader at Compass Christian Church. Um, when I was 16, we went to a youth camp, though, and this is when I first felt a calling from God. Um, we, uh, we went and saw um, the worship band, and we walked in the first day, and it was just this goofy-looking guy. Um, and it was just like a five-piece band, and I was kind of like, okay, this, we'll see how this goes. But like from the minute they started, it was just fun, uh, energetic, really well done. But then something else that I hadn't really experienced super well was just like the presence they drew you into. I prayed during the worship set, like, you know, God talked to me, and He was calling me <clears throat> to pursue a, a ministry in music. So then uh, I graduated high school and um, I went to college. I pretty much went to college to be in a band. To me, that was the direction I was being led in anyway, was music, and um, so I, I jumped on that opportunity. The intentions for me became more about making it as a musician, making it as a, as a worship band or a worship leader, rather than really doing what God had called me to do. Um, so I don't feel like I just completely ignored his plan, but I definitely went down a different road than the path that he set before me. That band disbanded, um, which left me in a really weird spot because I felt like I was, you know, God, here I am doing what you called me to do and you know, still convincing myself of that. But really, I think he was telling me uh, this isn't the plan I had for you, and I'm gonna try my best, and you know, to will you back to my path that uh, I set before you. So around that time, I started to play at Compass. I was just the guitar player, um, and it was like every other weekend, which then turned into every weekend, which then I somehow finagled uh, a full-time job out of it. Eventually, um, working in the worship department, so turned me around was rooted. Um, we did it as a staff, and in that I could see just through the weeks, through the lessons, through the, the sharing of insecurities and hardships, and just for me to really see how God was uh, refocusing me back on my path. Um, and then another thing was just really being pushed, honestly, like physically pushed sometimes by um, the worship team to you know, fill in, help out. Um, they uh, started to push me into actually leading, um, not just on the side, but in front. That brought back this, um, this rekindled love and fervor, if you will, for, for what God had shown me when I was 16 years old. The biggest blessing in my life has been um, God gave me a wife that not only is just awesome and beautiful and encouraging, but she is along for this journey as well. When I'm insecure, she is um, encouraging. When I am uh, flustered, she is um, just there to calm me down. Um, I'm really excited about when we're on stage together. We're seeing the new chapter that he's starting. Um, with us, with a congregation, with a church, um, and just the joy he'll be bringing, the, uh, the new passion and uh, excitement, and just um, seeing his will unfold. Uh, you know, I couldn't ask for a better path and a better person to stand by.